Hey, it's me, Alberto, your expressions teacher. Ah, oh, the good old days, the good old university days. I have to say, I was quite a good student. I always passed my exams, and my grades weren't bad either. <laughs> but I have to admit, I didn't always pass with flying colors. Pero, ¿qué dices, Alberto? ¿Que no siempre aprobaba tus exámenes con colores voladores? Pues sí, literalmente. To pass with flying colors. Pero it's an expression we use when you pass an exam very successfully. To pass with flying colors. Eh, apruebas un examen con notaza. El origen de la expresión proviene del mundo náutico. Antiguamente, colors se refería a la bandera. Y cuando un barco volvía al puerto tras una victoria, enseñaba sus colors, eso es, que estaban volando en el viento. Interesting, huh? So, as I was saying, I didn't always pass my exams with flying colors. There were a few occasions, though. I passed some of my exams with flying colors. What about you? When was the last exam you passed with flying colors? Did you pass your driving test with flying colors? Hmm. Okay, let me put you to the test with a few translations. Seguro que aprobarás con nota. I'm sure you'll pass with flying colors. Muy bien. Ella aprobó su examen de conducir con nota. She passed her driving test with flying colors. Muy bien. La última. La primera vez suspendí el test, pero la segunda vez aprobé con nota. The first time I failed. Fail is suspended, right? The first time I failed the test, and the second time I passed with flying colors. I hope you pass your English tests with flying colors.